Well, theft of catalytic converters is on the rise in Washington and around the country. A new bill now on Governor Jay Inslee's desk would make it harder to sell the stolen part. Vanessa Perez spoke to one Spokane couple who says they were victimized just nights ago. Ken and Dina started up their car a few mornings ago and noticed that something didn't sound right. That's when they went to go check and noticed that their catalytic converter was missing. This neighborhood has just gotten crazy. Ken and Dina moved from Eugene, Oregon to Spokane during the pandemic. They claim they've been hit by thieves three times since they've lived in Brown's Edition. The third time happened just nights ago. The next morning, my wife went to go to work and our car sounded like a race car. And we looked underneath and the catalytic converter was cut off. The lack of lighting on the street doesn't help either. That's the closest street light there and then that's the closest one over there. So there's the tools that they did use to cut off our um, catalytic converter right there. Now they say this incident is the last straw. We're in the process of moving now. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I have a load in my car. Right They're packing their bags to move to Nebraska. They're also in the process of getting their catalytic converter replaced. He says it'll cost them over $300. We were talking to the, the muffler guy that we took the place to, Docs, and um, he said that he, does, he did seven U-Hauls in one day last week and that he does at least two or three a day. Now there's a bill that's made it through the legislature that would make it harder for people to sell catalytic converters. It targets businesses too. Both could face fines for not following the rules. Sellers would need to show proof of ownership and provide a form of ID why you can sell junk car parts without a license. I, I, would, I would assume that you would have to have a business license of some sort to sell something like that. The bill would also implement a new theft work group. The group would give recommendations and options related to reducing the crime. The bill is currently on Governor Jay Inslee's desk and waiting for his signature. Victims are hoping this will stop thieves so they don't have to deal with the inconvenience. Reporting in Spokane, Vanessa Perez, 4 News Now.